Yo, welcome back. Big up yourselves. Big up all my new subscribers. Big up all my existing subscribers. Big up my members. Big up everyone. Big up you and all your family. Love to you all. Yeah, in today's video, we're back on a job that we previously did. If you haven't seen the first fix, I'll put the card up here so you can click that. And we're going to be doing some spots, sockets, switches, fans, a bit of data for HDMI cables which we've left in the wall so I'll go through that with you because I tried to do it on another video but I didn't have the thing but we've got the thing so we'll get that but while I get the tools out run that thing so here we are this is a three gang switch which is going to do four spots in that bit of ceiling, a single spot in here, and then two spots in this utility area. We've then got a switch to cut in, which is in this plasterboard here. That's gonna be a two gang switch, which is gonna operate a pendant there and a fan there. This room hasn't been plastered yet. I'm not sure what they're doing. They might be tiling it, I don't know. Anyway, so we've got to cool drill the fan out, get that out, get that fitted nice. We've then got a single switch going here by the back door, which controls an LED flood outside. We've got sockets, we've got sockets. We've got a loop down there, which will be sockets for the appliances that's going in the cupboard. Then we've got double socket, double socket. We've got double socket, and then we've got our two Cat 5s, which are going to be converted into HDMI that run up to the back of the TV. So we've got a double socket there, and then again, we've got uh, two Cat 5s, which is going to be the other end. Here's what we're going to be fitting there, which converts Cat 5 into HDMI, so that'll be nice. Customer has supplied all the second fix materials, so we're using Aurora down lights and Aurora lamps. Here's some that I've unpacked just nice. We've got an Xpel Air fan, and we've got Schneider Lissy for the sockets and switches. We've then got upstairs, but we'll go through that when we get there. So first thing I'm gonna do, get these sockets stripped out and get the sockets fitted. Customer did just say he's been watching the videos and he saw me moaning about the plasterers and he has chipped bits away so we can get to the socket pins. I did say we've got to cut a bit more out, but fair play to him, fair play. Even the customers are picking up on them. Fill in the boxes. Shame on you, plasterers. To be fair, whoever has plastered it, it's pretty sound. To be fair, there's a bit that we need to knock out, but they're not full. They're not full of crap. The boxes are clean. It's just a bit where it's spilled over. I'll get the uh, knocking stick out and get it out. Nice. So first thing I'm gonna do at each socket is just chop the last little bits of plaster out. So what I'm gonna do, flathead screwdriver, Give it a little tapa 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 and it'll just pop that bit of plaster out in the corner of the boxes. Like I say, it's not that bad here, um, but we'll just get those last little bits out and get it cleaned off, ready for the socket. So this one is the last leg of the radial circuit. So I'm going to get that stripped, get the earth sleeve on, and then these are the sockets that we are fitting. Schneider Lissy. We don't normally fit these on the channel, but customers supplied them and I'm glad they've supplied decent ones at least which is nice so live and neutral is in the middle and then we've got earth terminals either side for them they do look quite nice with the round edge nice sockets nice let's get one fitted so on our last points we're going to be bending over the conductors doubling them up just so that we've got a better connection in the back of the socket. We always do it if it's the last one or if it's a single or if it's been spurred off or anything like that. Just gives you a better connection when you tighten down on the conductor's knees. Get some earth sleeve on there then. Oh, it's right here. Here it is. So we'll get a bit of earth sleeve on. We'll double that earth over as well. Go strong down with my fingers. No danger. And then we'll get these connected up. So neutral on our left, live on our right. And I always, for some reason, go for the right hand terminal for the earth. Which one do you go for first? I don't know why, I just always do it. Strange. I suppose everybody's got their own little, little ways. So get these nice and tight. And then they come with these. Don't know what they're for. Not going on. Right, sockets are done downstairs and upstairs. I will show you upstairs because I've still got one to cut out. So 
I'll go through that with you. There's a couple of things to cut out up there, but we'll just move on to the lighting in here now. So what we've got here, we've wired to the switches. So we've got our feed in and our feed out, which we don't leave marks on when we're wiring. So we know they are the live in and out. Doesn't matter which, because they're both going in the same. And then we've got a cable with one nick, a cable with two nick, and a cable with three nick. So if I remember correctly, one nick is the spots over there. So four, two nicks is the one on its own here and three nicks is the two in the utility. So what we're gonna do is get these stripped. Our permanent lives, which are our in and out, the lives are gonna bounce across the commons in the switches, so three gang switch. Let me get the switch. So three gang switch. We're gonna have our permanent lives going in common, common, common on the switch, and then our one ways are gonna be our one, two, and three nicks. Neutrals are gonna go in Wagos in the back box, and earths connected into the back box itself. So I'll get these stripped now and show you what I mean. So here's what I mean about the commons. So we've got our feed in, common, 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 and then our feed out there. So they're all connected through. Now we're gonna put these in a way go behind, and then we're gonna one by one strip these off. So number one, number two, and number three switches. Get those connected in and get it screwed back. Nice. Look at me up. I've said nice on here a few times today, and I, someone wants to go out and that'd be class. Get it in the comments. Nice. Right, the free gang switch is now done. We're gonna move on to marking out the spots and getting those cut out. So here's the plan from when we did the first fix. So this is downstairs here. So we've got one, two, three, four in the lounge bit, one in the middle, two for the utility. So I'm gonna mark out now where our things are. So off that, we've got 29 inches. So we'll get that in. Get a line drew for the four in a row there. So two in there, one in here, one in there. That doesn't make sense at all, but I'm gonna get this line drawn out anyway. Don't you ramble on? Jesus. We get the laser up now, ping a line, and then we'll start with the measurements. You're gonna to have to just deal with this, because it will get down. Every time I press record, I look at it. Anyway, it's not a fashion show. I've got the green laser pinged, if you can see that on the ceiling. And then our measurements, what we're gonna do, look. So 36 off the back wall is our first spot and 31 off this internal wall is our next. So what I'll probably do is mark the ceiling that side, 31 off this stud, and then measure from the back wall where it is. And then that's our first two spots done. This one is in the center and this one is in the center of this room. So we can take all those measurements now get our first row of four marked out and then move on to the other side. First four spots are marked. We're gonna be using our stud buddy now just to check and double check that there's no joists around there. So there's a joist there. There, so our down lights there, so that one will be sound. It should all be fine because obviously we've done the measurements before, but it's best to double check. Yeah, that's fine, nothing around there. So I can get the drill out now Make sure that the cutter we've got fits these down lights because we're not used to using these and then get those four drilled out, ready to measure up the next. Just before I get those drilled out, I'm gonna show you the down lights we're using. So these are from Aurora, fire rated LED because we've put the lamps in. Middle just pops out of there. Put your lamp in, pop it back in. We are nice, that's nice again. For those counting, if you are, you've got too much time. <laughs> and then our connections are gonna go into here. So we'll pop that off and then there's our live neutral and earth. Get our cables in, close it down, good to go. They seem all right, to be fair. Um, normally, we don't fit customer supplied materials, but if they do want to supply the materials, obviously we don't warranty the materials, then we're not recommending them. But we do get them to ping us over a picture of what they're getting and the spec and things like that. And if we're happy enough to get them, they can get them, that's fine. But we like fitting the JCC or the Lucico F-type down lights on this channel. You know this, you've seen it before. If you're new here, check it, the other videos. Check them out, they're good. Yeah. So I'm gonna get the whole cutter now, get these cut out and get them into the ceiling. Yes, I've dropped a bar, look. Sake. So this row is now in. We've got two more to drill here and two more to drill on the left hand side there. So measurements should be bang on exactly where we want them, nice. So then we've got four, eight, nine spots to do down here. I've got a pendant to go in there, 
and then I've got a switch to chop out here and get on. Two gang switch, fan and centre light for in there. Boom, we're done down here, we've got a casualty there and here the cables were trapped between the joist and the board so I've had to pull it and where I've pulled it, it's popped the nail. Let me try and find the cable. Um, no, the screw had basically gone straight through the cable, which is nice, but there it is. Look, you can see it there. It's gone through there and just caught on. So look where the thread was. <laughs> oh well, we sorted it. So they're done, the sockets are done. I've cut the hole out here for where the switch is gonna go. What I'll probably do is ask him what he's doing. If he's tiling, I'll cut the switch in. If not, I'm gonna leave it like that and I'll just pop back and square it off because I'm gonna leave the fan disconnected because it's not core drilled out just yet. I'll mark up where it needs to be drilled. Um, if he drills it while I'm here, I'll pop it in. If not, I shall pop back. Let's go upstairs. So up here, coming into the room, we've got a switch in this studway here. Studway, stud work. We've done the sockets up here. We've done the sockets for the TV up there. Check this cable out, he's bought this aerial cable. Look how thin that is. I had to strip it because I thought it was cat five. Never seen that before, but we move. So in here, we've got two spotlights there. We've got a two gang switch in the stud and we've got a pendant just above me in the center. Then in this toilet, well, we've got a double socket down there as well, which I've got to cut in. In this toilet, we're going for three down lights. So the shower heads go in here. So we're going to put one, two, three. Originally, it was a center light, but I'll get up the loft because there is a loft above and mark out where we need to go. So three spots in there and there's going to be a pull cord up here and then obviously the fan over there. But again, I'll probably leave that disconnected so it can be drilled out. So again, in here, we've got a plan for our two down lights there. There's wardrobes going across that back wall. So they're looking nice. They're going over there, off the two gang switch. I'm gonna mark out the center now, get a hole drilled, and then I'll run up. I'll sort out where the joists go, which way they go, get the spotlights marked out in the bathroom, get a hole drilled for our pull cord to drop down, and get the hole drilled for Z pendant. And then basically everything's done. We can get it connected into the board, get it livened up, get it tested, get out of here. So I'm gonna go and get my phone from downstairs with the measurements on, get the hop up up here. Oh no, the steps, I'll use the steps, so I'd be missing them, but you know what I mean. Get these spotlights marked out, get them drilled out, and we are good to go. So pendants in, spots are in. We're just measuring out in here now. So I've measured it, and we're gonna to have to have two in the center, so one there and one there. Measured it out in the loft, and we're fine to go bang center, two foot in, something like that. Two foot in, don't really matter. I can wire it from above, so wherever I can get the spots. I've had to put the pull cord on this side because that's where we originally wired to and the cables aren't long enough to get them over here. So that's going there. Bash, lights are on. So these are fed from the switch on the side, the fan and the spots are on, looking good. They're fed from here. Fan, we had to move the fan because drilled through straight where the cables came out. And that's where the soffit is. So it would have had to drop right the way down to about here, which is really low, or put it in the ceiling. Well, that looks mint, I think anyway, nice. So they're done, everything's on, everything's nice. Sockets, there's a few bits, so I can't do the utility low levels. And there's also one here, I haven't got a fast fix box, but I'm gonna to have to pop back into the utility socket anyway and get the power onto them. But all the lights are on and they're looking good. So it's all on to here. That switch is doing the four there. The next switch is there. And the third switch is these two here. Switch at the back is for the down light, down light the floodlight outside. So yeah, nice. So just before I go, I just thought I'd show you these. I'm gonna do these when we come back to fit the sockets in the cupboards and things. But, so, cap five to HDMI. This one is the receiver. So we've got power in there, which is our power. Then we've got two Cat5, so Cat5-1, Cat5-2. Same on the transmitter, Cat5-1, Cat5-2. HDMI in, so in from your PlayStation or whatever, into there. It then goes down, your two Cat5s into here, and then HDMI out and into your TV. Nice. So there we are, another job nearly done. Not done, but it will be. So I'm coming back here the week after next. The kitchen's gonna be in, and hopefully, 
those walls will be plastered so it can all be finished off, tested, certificated, nice. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. You automatically become a legend. And if you want to support the channel more, uh, there's a link in the description to join our membership. A few pound a month, support a starving Jack. For just three pound a month, you could... Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Big up yourselves. Leave a comment to say hello, ta whatever you want. Press that like button. See you later, ta -ra.